Okay. Um, we'll talk about the other interchanges it's raising concerns about. But since you're talking about the Tema motorway, I need to indicate that, of course, personally, we've also been doing some works on that stretch. Uh, and it's what we're now describing as a deadly highway. Uh, are you, of course, conversant with, with the challenges on that stretch? And what plans do you have as government towards either expanding, rehabilitating the road? Because it's become, uh, you know, a stretch that many residents and uh, commuters who ply that route say is very deadly. Indeed. Uh, His Excellency, the President, has always had uh, the Tema Accra Motorway in mind to construct. Mm. If you could remember, I think this road has been very topical in the past two, three years. Even, I can say, from 2018, mm. when the government wanted to even do the road by itself. Mm. And a lot of contractors were, were sounded out to come and bid and other things. Mm -hmm. But we realized that we don't have enough resources to do that. Mm -hmm. And now we are looking at a PPP arrangement between the, 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 the government of Ghana and private developers. So phase two may not happen as planned? Phase two? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Are you talking about the, 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 yes. runabout? Okay, not the runabout, the main The main stretch. road. Yes, the main stretch. Yes, so that's the main. That okay. is not, it's so that's not different. There are two different yes. separate projects. Okay, okay. Right. if you like, maybe mm -hmm. the, the main, the phase one. Mm -hmm. okay. The Tema yes. Accra um, motorway. Right. And the government has it in, in mind, in the, there are now plans to extend it from um, Tema right down through the Tetequashi interchange mm -hmm. to Neo Plan. Okay. okay, but for now we are just looking at the from Tema motorway runabout down to uh, Tatakwashi mm -hmm. interchange. Okay, and as we speak now, uh, talks are ongoing mm -hmm. between the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Roads and some other uh, agencies mm -hmm. like Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. Mm -hmm. And I'm, 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 I can assure your viewers and uh, the good people of Ghana that, inshallah, this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, my boss himself and uh, His Excellency the President will be making a pronouncement on them because we know how deadly that road could be. In the meantime, the, minister, um, the Ghana Highways Authority mm -hmm. are always out there trying to patch up using uh, asphalt to patch concrete. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 so that's the problem on the yes, stretch. Which is you know. not helping so mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we cannot avoid uh, maintaining the road mm -hmm. to avoid uh, fatal accidents on the road. There are safety concerns as well. Uh, some drivers using unauthorized U turns on the stretch. Safety wise, what are you putting in place? Uh, that I've, I've noticed that. Right. And, and there are several along, along the road. Mm. I think the security agencies are also doing their bit because once in a while you see them and those sports trying to arrest motorists and to let them know that it is uh, not safe for them and for uh, innocent motor, uh, I mean, like pedestrian, I mean, road users on that stretch of the road. Uh, on our part, we will just advise all Ghanaians, all those who re uh, live on that corridor of the road, to be very conscious of their safety mm -hmm. because motorways are motorways. Mm -hmm. This is where speed limits extend up to 120 mm -hmm. or more. So if you think that you can do a U-turn, you might not be lucky mm -hmm. and you get hit by another vehicle. Okay.